everyone, today I will be showing you how to make these golden dragon egg cakes. They're inspired by the ones in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. So without further ado, let's get started. To make the lemon curd in a large bowl, add 6 tablespoons of unsalted butter softened at room temperature and 1 cup of sugar. Beat until everything is well combined. Then add 2 large eggs, one at a time and mixing in between. Then add two large egg yolks, again one at a time and mixing in between. Then mix in a two-third cup of fresh lemon juice. Next, bring this over to the stove and pour the mixture into a medium saucepan. Cook over low heat until the mixture looks smooth. Then increase the heat to medium and cook stirring constantly until the mixture thickens. Then remove it from the heat and stir in one teaspoon of lemon zest. Then pour the lemon curd into a bowl, press plastic wrap on the surface of the lemon curd to keep a skin from forming, then place it in the fridge to chill and thicken. Now onto the lemon cake, in a large bowl add half a cup of unsalted butter that's been softened and half a cup of sugar and beat until everything is well blended. Then add 3 eggs one at a time and beating well after each addition. In a separate bowl, add 2 cups of all-purpose flour, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt. Combine everything with a whisk. Now alternating, add the flour mixture and 1 cup of low-fat buttermilk to the wet mixture, beginning and ending with the flour mixture. So add some flour, mix it up, add some buttermilk, mix it up, and so on. Then add 2 tablespoons of fresh lemon juice and 2 tablespoons of lemon zest. Using a half egg cake pan, spray each mold with some non-stick cooking spray and pour the batter into each mold, filling it all the way to the top. Tap the pan on the counter to remove air bubbles, then bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. You'll know they're done when the edges are golden brown and a cake tester comes out clean. Let the cakes cool in the pan for 10 minutes. Using a sharp knife, trim the tops off each cake. Then transfer the cakes onto a wire rack and let them cool completely. While the cakes are cooling, you can make a simple white frosting. In a large bowl, add a two-third cup of unsalted butter softened and beat until creamy. Add one and a half cups of powdered sugar, beating until smooth. Then add one tablespoon of milk and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Find two halves that fit best together. Using a sharp knife, cut a slice off each cake so that they fit better together and repeat for the rest of the cakes. Next, frost all of the cakes using the white frosting, then place them in the fridge to chill for 10 minutes. After they've chilled, trim the bottoms off each cake so that the egg can stand on its own. Then spread a layer of lemon curd on one half of the cake and top with the other half. Once you've done that, you can then ice the cake with another layer of frosting. Place them in the fridge to chill for 5 to 10 minutes. To decorate, you will need powdered sugar, white marshmallow fondant, a small sharp knife, water, a 6.5 cm circle cookie cutter, a large piping tip, I used a 4B1, a small paintbrush, a toothpick, parchment paper, and gold color mist. Generously dust your counter with some powdered sugar and roll out a small piece of fondant big enough for one egg cake. Then get your clean hands wet and run your fingers along the frosting of each cake to make them as smooth as possible. Now you can cover each cake in fondant, carefully trimming away any excess. If you get a problem like this, simply take a small piece of fondant and some water, 
Mix it around until you get a paste. Then smooth this onto the areas where it needs to be covered. For the smaller fondant details, cut out a big circle using the cookie cutter. Cut out a smaller circle using the piping tip. Then roll out the bigger circle a bit. Place the smaller circle in the center. Then cut out this sort of shape. Definitely look at pictures of the dragon egg to get a better idea of how to shape it. Cut out another circle using the piping tip. Again, looking at pictures of the dragon egg to more accurately shape the owl face details. Then roll two little balls of fondant for the owl eyes. Brush the fondant pieces with a little bit of water on the back, then attach them onto the cake. Using a toothpick, make some indents on the fondant, again using pictures of the dragon egg as a guideline for where to position the details. The dragon egg also has little pictures around it, but I decided to leave them out. Finally, for the last step, cover your workspace with some parchment paper. Spray each cake with a single even layer of gold color mist. Let it dry, then spray on more layers as needed. And now you're finished. So that is how to make these golden dragon egg cakes inspired by the ones in the movie. Honestly, they turned out way better than I expected and I absolutely love them. Now these won't reveal a clue for the next task, but they will reveal cake. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully make your own dragon egg cakes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.